Shut up! Yeah, we're rolling. We are. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Levine Large. I'm Christine Levine, and with me, as always, are my two sons, Joshua and Christopher. And Sabrina is working again tonight, but we're going to have her. I know we thought we were, that she, she was going to be with us uh, last episode. We said, "Oh, she'll be with us this she's episode." She's doing but real work. Yeah, she's actually doing real shit. So whatever. Um, Josh, what the fuck were you just doing? Um, what you guys were? <laughs> I don't know, Christopher, get on your mic. What is going on? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing? Um, I think I'll have Chris uh, explain this one for you. Why are you doing? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know why either. Just fill me in. What's I happening? don't know. It's just really funny saying gross stuff in King of the Hill voices <laughs> <laughs> and writing disgusting fanfic. It's super like funny. like. So like, give me an example of uh, what's your storyline? What you guys working on? Okay, over so there? Hank and Bobby are home alone. <laughs> but Peggy's at a boggle. Pe- tournament Peggy's at a boggle tournament, <laughs> and Bobby is Bobby is secretly a f- like he's disgust. He's, he's a predator. Yeah. He's a manipulator. <laughs> Bobby is. And he only feels validation through sexual accomplishments. <laughs> yeah. That's our character. Okay. Okay, okay I get it. I'm, I'm picking it up. Okay. So Hank is sitting down in his chair. Reading the newspaper, right? I think he does. Yeah. And uh, Bobby enters. And uh, what does he say? <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> yes, Bobby? <laughs> How about you show me your propane accessory, Dad? Well, what? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Whip it out, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mom's away. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Bo- oh, Bobby, I, oh. I, I can't. Oh. And as Bobby's like creeping up onto his lap <laughs> underneath his <laughs> newspaper, <laughs> like a cat, Un- cat. unzips <laughs> him, like, <laughs> <laughs> bring, <laughs> dick shoots out. Like, <laughs> I never dreamed it could be this big. <laughs> oh, oh no! I can't believe it. Bo- oh, oh, whoa. And he's <laughs> all over Bobby's face. <laughs> Hank loves it, but he doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> dad. dad. Oh, Dad. Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> you cannot tell your mother about this. <laughs> It's okay, Dad. This it's one's be- just between you and me. <laughs> Flicks his dick a little bit. <laughs> between you and me. Boink. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> oh, my. Dad, you're getting hard again. <laughs> I think we need a two-man crew. Joseph is in the back the whole time. <laughs> yeah, Bobby has already manipulated Joseph and convinced him that he wants Hank's meat bowl. Just recruited him as yeah, like his yeah, sex, sex soldier. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hell. Say it, Joseph. You know you uh, want to. Uh, okay. Uh, can I drink your spunk, Mr. Hell? <laughs> uh, Joseph. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. (laughs) Two juicy boy throats? (laughs) 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 Oh, Mr. Hill! I can't... Now, Joseph, if you win the big football game, maybe I'll give you a round two. <laughs> okay, so then what happens? I mean, so then they have their little... Bobby, little Bobby and Joseph get their fill. <laughs> yeah. Then what happens? Uh, 
we haven't gotten from point A to point B yet, but somehow John Redcorn finds out. He finds <laughs> out. <laughs> so Hank's outside, like, watering the lawn or whatever. And then uh, John Redcorn comes around in his Jeep. <laughs> pulls up, but Hank doesn't hear him because he's, like, super silent. He, like, walks up behind him. And, like, Hank. the wind blows through his hair. Hank. <laughs> the, oh, oh, hey, hey, John Redcorn. What brings you around these parts? Did you come in my sweet baby Joseph Hank? <laughs> <laughs> well, adjust his glasses. Well, well, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Mr. Redcorn. I, uh, I, I didn't don't know you had a son. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, white man. <laughs> <laughs> and I want in. <laughs> Well, uh, well, I think like, I think Joseph and Bobby are at school right now. Cut to Joseph and Bobby making out in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, dude, you want in on this action? Ugh, are you guys sucking each other's things? I want in. <laughs> I, I want in. Let me munch that pole. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's out, gross. <laughs> Let me jam my totem pole into your Plymouth Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, John Redcorn. It's so red. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Why? Right? And Why? Bob, Bobby's in the back, actually. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he convinced John Redcorn. <laughs> He's back there jerking off. He wipes a little bit of John Redcorn's cum off his mouth. No ah. crap wasted. <laughs> no one can resist my boyish charm. <laughs> Bobby's ah. velvet insides. <laughs> but, oh. Bobby, ah. you made me orgasm like a raccoon. Oh, 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 oh. See, that's why. I... <laughs> ah, what anyway. about what about what about what was Dale in on this or? So, well, what about what about Bill? Bill's lonely. <laughs> no, Bill's lonely. He's at home like jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> He's all. Wow, that's that's another episode of <laughs> King of the Hill porn edition. <laughs> <laughs> God Bobby, dang it, Bill! I'm gonna come in your ass. <laughs> I asked. This is mm -hmm. fucked up. Oh God! So you've just been writing King of the Hill fan fiction. Not writing. We've just no, been ripping just... right off the dome. Wow, <laughs> it's room. really good. It's really, really good. Thank you. That's. Can I drink your spunk, Mister Hill? <laughs> oh, oh Mister Hill! <laughs> <laughs> Why is uh, my boy sweaty and stinky when he comes home, Hank? He smells like sweaty, stinky sex. <laughs> and I want in. That's 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 the line. That's the line everyone uses when they find out. <laughs> they want in. They want in. They want and to feel I want soft in. Boy Peggy never finds out. <laughs> hey, what about the daughter then? Lou oh, Luann. No, it's Lucky, your husband. <laughs> yeah, Lucky. Lucky finds out, and I want in, Uncle Hank. <laughs> and I want in. Luann also Betty. never finds out. Cotton. <laughs> Cotton finds out. Cotton's dead. Cotton's a ghost. Oh, that's right. He dies. No, he comes back as a ghost and fucks Bobby. <laughs> but it's like a dream, so Bobby's not sure if it was real. But he lacks to believe. <laughs> oh my God. Boy. Oh God. I came in fitty man. <laughs> you wanna make it fitty one? Zip. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> your shins are gone, but your dick is huge. <laughs> <laughs> your daddy <laughs> comes after me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. You're even bigger than dad. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. Fitty man. <laughs> we have to. You guys, we have to move on. We can't. I told you. I told you we could do this for the whole episode. This could be the whole thing. We cannot do the King of the Hill porn. 
Oh my god, it is funny. It is sucking each other's thing. It's funny. It's, nice. it's funny, but we can't. Nice. Bobby, you can't keep you can't keep sucking off the whole football team. It's not my fault their dicks are so good, Principal Moss. Bobby, they need that boy juice to give them the edge to win state. <laughs> Principal Moss, is there a problem? Uh, I'm well, not. your son's just too much of a cum slut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to kick him from the team. I have just lost control of my podcast. Okay, stop, stop, Hank, stop. Hank makes a special trophy for Bobby, world's biggest cum slut, and he puts it on that little yeah. that <laughs> shelf in the den, <laughs> shelf in the den that he built when he was born. I'm so proud of you, Bobby. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. They take it out when Peggy's away <laughs> and put it up and jerk off to it. <laughs> Okay, stop. But All it's right. our little secret. Oh god! Like, like puts his finger over Bobby's mouth and like puts his lip down a little. <laughs> it's our little secret. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Dad. Okay. 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 <laughs> cut. 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 Oh god. You woke the beast. I'm so sorry. Burr, this burr, burr. Is... Coming out. I don't know. I'm tired, so I can't even keep up with you guys. I'm fucking whooped. Christopher and I worked at this shop all day, and we're tired. Christopher has a job now, yep. too, with me. And uh, we're working. We're a working That's family. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's anyway, awesome. and then uh, the car like wouldn't start. We got stuck outside Arco. I was there for two hours. And then just when AAA showed up, then, my, then the car showed up, or the car started. It was stupid. <sighs> anyway, I'm fucking exhausted and I'm tired. And now I'm just laughing my ass off. <clears throat> anyway, it was very funny, guys. Good job. I I like your work. It's pretty good. Thank you. I don't even know what we're gonna talk about now. Now I'm just totally I know, we save that for the end. Lost. Yeah, there's nothing you can just turn off the podcast now because I don't think Nothing's we're gonna, gonna pull anything out of our assets as good as that. The Bobby Hill or uh, we Hank, didn't really, we didn't King of the Hill. That one out of our We've been preparing that one for a couple of That days. one was that one was that's, this that's a, reoccurring. Got it, it was good. Yeah, we've been doing it for a while. It's <laughs> cause it's probably gonna still keep going. Probably bring <laughs> back some more material next week. Yeah, don't worry. Well, oh, you think you guys can write more episodes? I don't know that you have it in you. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. I don't know. I don't think you can do it anymore. Right. I don't know. Right, we'll, we'll find out. See what Maybe you could do a Simpsons King of the Hill crossover fan. No? No. I like the Simpsons too much. Oh, okay. Whatever. King of the Hill's funny because they're like real people. <laughs> yeah. They're not cartoon characters. Yeah. Like, Peggy Hill's a real bitch. She's the worst... That's she's why she wasn't included because, like, we could. Fuck her. Who cares? She's always at the boggle tournament. Yeah, <laughs> she's always away at some <laughs> boggle tournament. Or she's in Mexico teaching. Losing a kid or yeah. fucking something up. Being an idiot. Yeah. Peggy Hill's the worst cartoon character. She's the only cartoon character that I actually I could murder. Um. Anyway, I don't know. I've got some. Um. I don't know. Like, people are. Okay, so. People are posting on my Facebook all the time that, um, like, mermaid stuff. Like, found out that there's this mermaid school in um, the Philippines. You're not going to send me to that, are you? <laughs> Only if you're naughty. Uh, no, it was for me. It was, it was for me. They were like, because somehow people, like, got the idea that I want. Now they think, like, I want to be a mermaid, which I was just thinking about the other day. I thought, wouldn't it be weird if I just went full on mermaid because I like <laughs> mermaids and I've had dreams about mermaids and then you know what I mean I kind of talk about them a little bit on my Facebook it's not like every post is about mermaids or anything weird like that but somehow they got this idea that I like m mermaids or that maybe they think that I'm obsessed with mermaids and that I want to be a mermaid <laughs> I always thought you did want to be a mermaid. What? No! No, I mean, I mean I, that's what I thought that you just really liked mermaids and I mean, you were like every time you go to the river, I was a little mermaid. I'm a mermaid. Yeah, that's probably where they got it from. It was like you've been going to the river a lot. I just don't know. like you, even <laughs> Justin. He goes. He asked me. He asked me yesterday. He goes. Um, so have you taking a shower, babe? And I go, oh, no, I haven't taken a shower in like a week or more. And because why I work at that, you know, the sweaty, dirty job. Why am I going to get clean for it? Fuck it. And um, and he goes, oh, yeah, that's right. You just take your little mermaid baths in the <laughs> river now. I get it. OK. So anyway, so they just thought that I was a mermaid. And I you should post on your Facebook like 
about to go get my legs surgically sewn together. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hardcore. Gonna have my feet flayed down into a little fin. It's gonna look great. <laughs> my new bathtub comes today slash bed. <laughs> my mister. Yeah, you just have like a spray bottle with you at all times and like be carried around in like a wheelbarrow. Around a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. I can't walk because mm. I have fins. Remember, remember in Hellboy? I just wear fins all the time. Abraham had the had the neck, the gill thing. Yeah, yeah you, you have, have like little artificial lungs on your neck so that you can breathe <laughs> air like people. Because you can't be underwater all the time. No, but I have to, <laughs> what is it? I have to spray myself down. Yeah, so you don't dry out. I yeah, I've got to spray myself down. So oh, it's time for me to hydrate. <laughs> for me to hydrate like in the worst times like <laughs> oh so, sorry guys uh wait up for me i gotta hydrate <laughs> i have some very sad news for all of you martin luther king has been shot <laughs> excuse oh, me hold on wait wait hold that thought i have to hydrate i missed it what did he say <laughs> i was too busy misting <laughs> i have to miss it. oh my god there's gonna be a there's planes hit these buildings. Oh my God, the terrorists! Oh. Tss, 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 wait, wait, wait! One second. <laughs> what did I miss? I was in the bathroom. I was missing. I had to refill my water bottle. Because you're a mermaid. You're not built for land. I just have to. I have to constantly stay moist. You miss all the important land. I think stuff. it would be funny if I did just fall off some sort of like mental cliff and just go diving into the mermaid thing. Because I think my, my friends think that I'm halfway there anyway. They just, they send me all this mermaid stuff and it's really sweet and I do love it. But the mermaid thing happened a long time ago because I had this dream where like, like black people were mermaids. Um, what? Well. Can you elaborate? Do you, you want to tell <laughs> us this story? Sure. I guess so. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. It was really interesting. Uh, what it was was like um, somehow like um, all the black people on the planet were they it was revealed somehow in the dream. I don't really know how I got this, but that they were the original Atlanteans. And um, wait, wait, white, wait, wait, wait. So no, like, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just wondering. white Europeans like harvested. Let me tell the story first. So white Europeans like harvested them, and then um, and then erased like all memory. That's why all mermaids are white, blonde hair, blue eyes. You know, because like the memory was like raised and obliterated, and um, that they were unique and like and powerful and special so um anyway and then um one day um all the like everybody that everybody that was black just like went back to the ocean and was had it and then i told my friend this 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 dream and um his name's ed morris and he turned it into a science fiction story he went and he talked to like no, some no. other um he went and talked to some other like colleges and some professors and told them my mermaid story dream and um and like collaborated with other writers and um and uh professors and stuff from universities and then came up with a story called the rivers of babylon and it's really good sounds super racist that's the most racist thing i've ever heard that's, what? Yeah. Whoa. Why? I would have paid any amount of money to hear your friend talking to the black <laughs> professor at Harvard about this story that his friend came up with. Let, no, now let me understand. <laughs> you, know, you, wrote, you come to me in my office at Harvard University oh. <laughs> with a story about how white people... The white man. The white, how white people <laughs> took black people from their home on a <laughs> boat and enslaved them and destroyed their culture. <laughs> and then the racism in America got so bad that they all went back to where they came from. <laughs> and, and, and supposedly they are half human <laughs> and half animal. <laughs> Is that the story that you've written for me to review? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. It's not like they're. Bad. 
<laughs> you, you say the word animal like I'm saying they're like like animals, but it's like it's a it's a fish. It's like a mermaid. <laughs> so it's cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to have to reject your story. <laughs> No, well, now are like half, <laughs> what if someone half black? Are they quarter mermaid? Do they get <laughs> one fin for a leg and then the other one's just a regular leg? And, like they're just totally boned on the on the <laughs> that's it scale. I don't know. I think here, it's like free. it worked. I honestly think that in my dream it worked just like um like uh, Native American tribes. If you're one sixteenth or less, they wouldn't take you. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, I had never considered your well, point. Okay. Does, does everyone yeah. have like an innate like they they know they're mermaids? So they're just keeping it all a secret. Like yeah, they. All, that's why well, all black people what it was quote, was unquote, like a, in like, in my dream it was like some kind of like awakening where they just sort of became aware that they were they didn't belong here and they were just like fuck it we're getting out. I can just we imagine hate it. two like thugging dudes outside of like a TGI Fridays <laughs> like. There's like a white guy and a black guy, and one of them just stands up and faces east and just starts walking. Where are you going, Jarrell? I'm going home, homie. And then he <laughs> pieces out and just starts walking. Yeah, that was it. People, they just dropped everything and just started walking to Two the Two chains on stage. Medusa on my sneakers, my dick out like... And he drops the mic. My dick out like I must go. <laughs> Takes off his shades and is like... Oh, why am I wearing eyes. this garbage? <laughs> I have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's... I don't belong here. Oh, god damn it. I never thought of that before. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you're right. It's probably just like a... It's like I just rewrote Amistad in my head. <laughs> okay. Like oh, you've fuck. got some internalized feelings. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's okay. It's okay. Everybody has those. It happens. I'm just saying, maybe don't be like, this is great. You should write a book about it to somebody. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> and it happened. And they did. And it was it's too late. Whoops. Anyway, so that's how the mermaid thing started with me. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. But no, it's cute. I collect black mermaids. I really like black ones. And you can't find them anywhere. <laughs> Uh, God. Collect them and I break them all. I gotta rethink this. Anyway, so the mermaids, I don't know. So now I'm fascinated. I really like mermaids, but I'm not, you know, I'm not obsessed with mermaids. I don't want to wear fins. You know, I don't have like, oh, it's an all mermaid weekend. You just weekend. to go back where they came from. Oh, no. <laughs> you just don't want them here, here, or anywhere. I like mermaids. Place. I do have mermaids as friends. <laughs> I, I just... have a mermaid friend, really. <laughs> yeah, I have a mermaid friend. <laughs> Which one? Can I, can I meet him? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, they're lives, in the water a lot, lives, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he lives on the other ocean. <laughs> yeah. He lives in the ocean up by Canada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's He can't swim down this year. <laughs> he can't gonna... swim down this year. <laughs> he got a lot uh, on his plate, on his sea plate. He's going to come. <laughs> You know how it is, Mer people. Uh, they like to be called uh, 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 Mermericans. <laughs> Mermaid Americans. Is that their is that their nationality? <laughs> okay, so when I do go to the river, yes, I'm a little okay. The kids sometimes they call me Mamu, and then I've just effectively changed it to I'm a Mermu. Mermu. <laughs> When I'm in the water. That sounds like the name of a manatee at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Mermu. <laughs> Bounces a ball. Yeah, kinda. pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Anyway, so my friends have been giving me a bunch of mermaid shit, and I think I might go to that mermaid school in the Philippines and then just start my descent into mermaid land. Mermaid. And, uh, Is that like see Hogwarts, but for mermaids? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Mermaid see you guys. Of... Loved you. Loved you both. I'm out. Well, <laughs> Mom's getting crazy. Well, mythical creatures more. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> must start wearing my purple mermaid fins everywhere and <laughs> misting. I'm gonna start all of it. You're done. Anyway, um, I want to talk about mermaids. <laughs> the full gross. nine leagues. Okay. 
<laughs> and then, Josh, you have this fascination with the Amish. I don't know. What did you want to talk about? You said you wanted to talk about the Amish people. Why? Well, you said there is that show. Yeah, he's never seen the show. Yeah, there's this the old show. show called Breaking Amish, and now you're interested in yeah. it. Yeah, it's on Netflix. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's on Netflix, and you can find it. But, uh, but evidently, Josh didn't know that Amish teens have the Rumspringa or whatever and that you can they just bust out and discover the world, and they have a whole year to do it. And then they get to decide whether or not they want to come back and be Amish or if they want to live in the cool real world yeah, and never the, see the any of their boring where, family. The one where you don't have to raise a barn and do anything. You, Ever. Can, like, you, don't, you don't have to do anything. You, you can sleep past you can, five <laughs> Wow. You can actually shave your beard. I mean, you don't want to shave your beard. But I, I love that Josh was like, I thought that was, he's like, oh, I want, no. Yeah, I, yeah, I, no, no, no. I want to, I want to, I want to, I, like, that's kind of incentive to like if i could go back in time and like uh -huh. somehow you and dad like right before i was born like, hey you know it'd be a great idea you guys should be amish we should move to pennsylvania and just not give him any technology whatsoever and then just spring it on him one day yeah just boom because every little tiny thing would be Whoa! <laughs> just, that's true just every like, little just, tiny thing you would be so happy in the biggest city Ever and then in America and then just just leave me there no no money, <laughs> <laughs> drop me off right in the middle of Tokyo and just say here you go this is what real life is like do you like it I'd be like no, <laughs> but you would be I fascinated. I want to go back to my quiet homestead. It would be fun though to be yeah to... it'd be like being on an alien planet and that'd be so cool yeah like just, just discovering all these new things whoa they have. I can look at titties anywhere. I don't. I can just look at them. <laughs> what? Have to imagine what they might look like sometimes. Look, nope. Now you can know what all the titties look I like can, anytime of day. I can look day. at people's ankles whenever I want. No all way. The time. Yeah. Ankles. Oh. Oh. No way. <laughs> I wouldn't know what anything was. Constant I wouldn't know boner. what video games were. I wouldn't know what. But what you're really, what I hear you really saying is that you would just be like everything that's now like boring or mundane and everyday to you would just be like super exciting. So and, crazy! Oh my god, you'd just be so excited about it. I would, I would give up my 16 years of life so far for that one year of. <laughs> <laughs> no way! I can't believe it. Are you bored with living already, Josh? What? You bored with life already? Yeah. Sorta? Sorta. Oh. Poor baby. You wouldn't do that? I mean, would you like to be dropped off on on an alien planet and like figure out alien life? And just everything's amazing? Yeah. Yeah. That would be I get totally it. sick. I totally get Except it. all yeah. the aliens speak English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you can so understand you don't really them. have to you work that hard. Them and you can ask them, what is this? <laughs> that's that's an ambulance. <laughs> they have those. <laughs> That take you to a place where you won't die. If what? You, if you're going to die. <laughs> they save your life. You mean my grandma's house? <laughs> <laughs> the the herbalist in my community? Yeah, right. the, the apothecary? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Except they have a machine that will cut out your heart and give you a new one. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. It's like science fiction. Uh -huh. uh, and actually, they do do that. There is a hold on a minute. There is a show where they take some guys from a like a tribe in Africa, and then they they take them to New York City. There is a there is like a National Geographic show where they they did that to people, which I think wouldn't they get kind of seemed and like freak out? Yeah. yeah. Well, happen. no, no, no. And that's the joy of television, Josh. That's what's happening. They just filmed it. it like, it's sort of yeah, the psychological. It, <laughs> freak out and they're just like hey let's film it and put it on tv i great. would i mean okay i could be wrong about Am where to get it but i'll show Amish you Amish to like something like because they've like seen cars they've, yeah they're aware that cars exist town. they've they've eaten mcdonald's french fries yeah they know what's going on they have an idea they know that yeah. it's out there but if you take someone from the congo doesn't know what <laughs> anything Papua is new guinea where they've never seen white people right exactly In Papua new guinea they think that white people are ghosts yeah that's Ugh. I'm not kidding. They really... That's awesome. And then not you, everybody in Papua New Guinea, but some people... Most of them. <laughs> most. <laughs> and if we have many people from Papua New Guinea, don't think... Uh, 
We're good. You're really, really cool. <laughs> You're probably way cooler than us and way faster and not lazy, <laughs> not dumb. <laughs> We're ghosts. The most stable culture. They've been around for 80,000 years. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty badass. Better than us. They're pretty tough. But, um, yeah, they there is that show. I can't remember what that show's called, though. It's like, Mark, do you know what that show's called? Have we lost him? No, I'm here. I just had it muted. Because I wasn't saying anything. Um, what kind of show? It's, like, that, uh, it's that show where they take the guys from, like, Africa and they put them in New York City. You're thinking of trading places with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, not just, not just like <laughs> black people. <laughs> they they, they well, take the Africans the and they that put them in the place in oh. the big in the Big Apple. I think. Well, it's it's called it's called a history of Black Harlem. That's what that's called. Where they take the people from Africa and they put them in New York. That's what, <laughs> that's what you're talking about? No. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. It's like a National you Geographic, huh? No, no, no. I was just trying to, like, I just wanted it so I could tell people what it was, but, oh, fuck it. Well, they'll find we'll it. We'll have a link to it. But, yeah, there's a difference between Amish people putting them in a big place where there's a lot of flash and lights than a, someone who doesn't, they ooh, yeah. no context. Like, for. they have to have a translator, and they have to, like, they have to keep them under wraps. And then, what, okay, hold on a second. Well, what else is going on with you guys? Anything? Um, let's see here. I've been coaching Josh how to play Pokemon. Yeah, he's been That's doing fun. that. That's <laughs> really fun. It's really fun. Hmm? I'm sorry, are we talking? Uh-huh. Oh, are you just really sleepy because you worked hard today? No, I'm really sleepy because you just bored the shit out of me with that one sentence. <laughs> well, that's what's been going on. I've been working at the place because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. made me. Yeah, it's sorry. Cause... Sorry, I don't have anything funny to talk about because I don't have anything because I'm doing the same thing that you're doing all day. Oh yeah, it's pretty awful. It is pretty. And awful. The podcast is suffering for it. This I can't fault. believe you. What? I can't believe you. We what? came up. We came up with that ha- that King of the Hill stuff when we were outside. Sorry about before that. we came in. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Well, I don't really have anything, but I do want to. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be on TV again. That's you made coming that up. Ad. Yeah, and I made an ad today. So things are popping for mom. Of course, I didn't get paid for like the either. <laughs> well, I mean the TV thing, which I can't talk about yet until after it's done. Well, yeah. Is um that I'm not gonna make very much money. Like I have to pay the Screen Actors Guild dues, which is weird. I have never thought that. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. I, I don't know how they'd find out anyway, but I never think, I don't think that actors need a union. Oh, yeah? They just don't. Like, they probably did in the 30s when they were like, you're never going to work in this town again, kid, blah, well, or that's, whatever. That's why they don't need them anymore is because. No, they have them. It's yeah, like yeah. antidepressants. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't I need don't them need anymore. anymore. I feel, I you, feel great. You stop for two days and you blow your brains out. <laughs> Right. Okay. You never work in that town again. Well, I just mean that there's no other job where you have the potential to make twenty million dollars for three months of work. There's yeah. no job like like auto workers in Detroit or whatever, or steel workers. I don't know. They those guys need a union because there's no 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 matter how good that a guy gets at you know, f- punching steel holes through a sheet of metal, no matter how good he gets, he's never going to make $20 million for three months worth of work. Yeah. It's never going to fucking happen. What, what, so that guy okay. needs a union. Brad Pitt does not need a union. It's almost as if some sort of system was really corrupt. That's weird. I wonder why that is. <laughs> huh. I guess we'll never know. I get. No, You're right. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know why that is. I don't mom. even want to think about it anymore. If, it's stupid. We should talk about the government a little bit. How, <laughs> there's a lot of goofs there. Huh. Mm-hmm. This is really funny. This is a goof train <laughs> leaving the station. <laughs> anyway, so I had to join. I mean, well, this is a long time ago. I had to join the Screen Actors Guild years ago. And so every year that I end up doing more work, I have to, like, what? Nothing. I'm a level 80 paladin. I had to join the Screen Actors Guild. I did. That's what it's called. <laughs> I know that's what it's called. Making, 
Making fun Do of I you. sound an asshole? I make 80 million gold for <laughs> three months of farming. <laughs> Do I sound like a dick? Is that what you're trying to say? No, you sound like someone who this plays a lot guild. of MMOs. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. So anyway, you remember? I'm the also I'm you also a member a big, of AFTRA. You've got a big raid coming up. <laughs> yes, I do. A big, I have a big raid coming but you're up. You're not going to get a huge cut of the loot. No, I'm not going to get any kind of cut of the loot, really. Jesus. That's what I mean. So I had to pay the fucking the fees. So basically, what I'm going to get paid for the show is the same as what I paid for the fees, but it's another credit. So I guess it sort of balances out. I don't know. I don't know. We're still going to get our electricity shut off someday again, probably. God damn it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Am I? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Tune in next week on the next episode of Levine Large where we find out, do we get our electricity, <laughs> electricity shut off? Is Josh going to die? <laughs> Will Josh kill himself? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, God. You guys were amazing you tonight. Come, you just come back and, oh, well. Oh, I'm so glad Mark gave Re- you guys some repl- sugar. Replace. Thank you, Mark. Replace. Yes, uh, that was a good call. They they work better on some sugar. Uh, okay, I think we can wrap it up now. I guess I don't have anything for your anything. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Any blah blah blah. No, I got nothing. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Yeah. It's almost midnight. Yeah, let's go. I got to get you to Matt Maddie's house. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Mark Major, our producer, and Christopher and Josh. And next week we'll have Sabrina back with us, and she's going to talk about uh, how her and her boyfriend uh, put down their precious animal, their precious uh, dog whiskey. Um, It was Cameron's boyhood pet. Really? Uh huh. How old is that dog? Oh, he was he was really old and a family family favorite, and it's all a very sad, um, very traumatic story. I'm kidding. They just, <laughs> it's really kind of a weird like, story. I can't wait to hear it. Hilarious. You like had a little <laughs> limp, and they're like, "Welp." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we're gonna let her tell it. We're gonna let her tell it because it it is sort of interesting, and it's uh, we got to talk about it. Okay. Like racehorse with the sniffles. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next week. Levine Large, brought to you by Island Station Media Labs. Producer, Mark Major. Theme song by Chris Shattuck.